What's going on, Kevin? Thanks for doing this. Um, why why did the Titans make sense uh, for you as, as your next stop through your career? I know you have some familiarity with Vrabel, but from from an opportunity perspective, what what made sense about it? Um, you know, like you said, uh, I played with Vrabel um, when I was in Houston. He was a defensive coordinator. Um, uh, uh, Anthony Midget was my defensive backs coach when I was in Houston. So there was also familiar uh, familiarity there with the scheme, um, the scheme, the staff. Um, it's a great city. I'm very familiar with the division as well, playing in Houston for four years. Kayla. Hey, Kevin, welcome to Nashville. Um, just in terms of the secondary and some of the guys you're going to be playing with, I mean, what do you know about a guy like Janoris Jenkins, who's obviously been in the league a long time, and then one of the younger guys in Christian Fulton um, that's in his second year? Um, you know, Janoris Jenkins is, you know, definitely a guy that um, I've been watching a lot throughout my career, um, you know, even going back all the way back to his Florida days. Uh, so he's, you know, a very accomplished cornerback in this league. Um, Someone who I'm definitely work, uh, looking forward to getting to work with. Uh, as far as uh, Christian Fulton, um, you know, I know he had a very good career, you know, in college. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, working with him as well and, and getting to know the, both of those guys. David Beauclair. Kevin, this will be four teams for you in four years. What's sort of the key to fitting in quickly and being part of a secondary unit and not just a player on defense? Um, just coming out there and playing ball, playing ball to my best ability, um, I'm making plays, uh, being consistent, staying durable, staying healthy, um, and uh, just being an impact player on the team for the team. John Glennon. Hey, Kevin, um, look like in, in Cleveland last year, you did um, more slot and, and got more, um, uh, did more blitzing as well. Did you enjoy those roles, and do you expect that that same kind of uh, role with the Titans? Um, you know, I haven't talked to the Titans, you know, really about, uh, you know, I'm not sure, you know, where I'm going to play as far as inside, outside. Uh, you know, Cleveland, they had me playing, you know, in the inside. I, I lacerated my liver. Um, training and training camp missed pretty much all of training camp. We didn't have OTAs because of COVID. So uh, um, I was playing in the slot. Um, I can play outside or inside, um, so it just depends on where they have me playing at. How did you uh, did you enjoy you know the slot and and also was it a little bit more blitzing last year too than you've done in the past? Yeah, because I was playing in the slot, I was blitzing a little bit more um, than usual if I'm playing outside. But um, yeah, it's something that I enjoyed. It's something that I can do. Like I said, I can play inside or outside. Jim Wyatt. And Kevin, you know, aside from your, I guess, versatility, what, what do you feel like maybe your strengths are as a player? What, what do you think you're best known for as far as tenacity, instincts, uh, mm. coverage ability? What, what, where are you at your best? Um, I just think I'm an all-around corner. Uh, you know, I think I can cover. Um, you know, I think I can cover. I can play uh, inside. I can play outside. Um, you know, you know, man-to-man uh, -man coverage, zone coverage. Um, I like to play physical. Uh, so basically just, you know, trying to do it all, trying to be an impact player. That's my style. And I know that you, uh, I think I read your, your high school buddies with Michael Campanero. He was, he was here for a short time. Did you by chance bounce anything off of him or he reached out to you since, uh, since you've agreed here? Um, you know, he was only in Nashville for a short amount of time. So I didn't really ask him too many questions about, uh, you know, just like the, the the seasons and, you know, all those upcoming things. So, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to the opportunity. Like I said, uh, I'm very familiar with uh, Coach Vrabel, you know, Coach Mids, the scheme. Uh, I've been in, I played in this division for four years when I was in Houston. So um, it's going to be, you know, a, a, um, something that I, I think I'm going to feel more comfortable with. Paul? Hey, Kevin. Um I feel like you played against the Titans uh, the last couple of times you've, you've gone against this team. Um, I thought I played well. I thought, uh, you know, last year when I played um, um, against the Titans, it was one of my better games. Um, I played outside in that game, um, you know, made a couple of plays on the ball, had a couple of PBUs. Um, you know, we won the game, <laughs> even though I'm going to be on the Titans this year. But, uh, 
it was it was a good game against the Titans. And then I played against the Titans, like you said, in my in a, a lot over my career, you know, playing in Houston. Um, so um, I'm looking forward to being a part of the team this time. Thanks. David Beauclair. Kevin, I got to ask, how painful is a lacerated liver and uh, and how scary is it to hear that you have that sort of injury? Um, yeah, you know, it was painful. Uh, you know, at first, you know, when it happened, I just thought I got the, the wind knocked out of me pretty bad. But um, that feeling um, stayed with me longer than a typical um, case where you get the wind knocked out of you. Um, so, you know, following that, I decided, you know, yeah, hey, let's, you know, go check it out, see what's going on with it. And I ended up last year in my liver. Um, I wasn't, uh, you know, necessarily scared when I got the news. Um, you know, I'm just a kind of optimistic guy. Um, but, um, you know, everything worked out. I didn't have to get surgery. I did have to miss, you know, eight weeks and then just hop into the, hop into the season um, with having to sit out for eight, nine weeks. But, um, you know, everything works out how it works out. And uh, I was able to, you know, finish the rest of the season with the Browns. <laughs> Jim Wyatt. Kevin, you mentioned your uh, mentioned Jackrabbit. How how much yeah. have you paid attention to what else the Titans have done in free agency and how much you're looking forward to playing with, I guess, a guy named Nico Autry you're probably familiar with in the division and, and yeah. Bud Dupree? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I I don't know too too much. Uh, I actually uh, got off of all my social media um, uh, pretty <laughs> – uh, about a month ago. So um, I actually haven't been able, I haven't been seeing the news, just what's been going on. Um, I'm familiar with, you know, some of the signings, but I'm very familiar with um, Jack Rabbit, his game, you know, his success that he's had uh, throughout his football career. I'm familiar with De Bud Dupree, um, you know, playing against him last season and you know, knowing what he's done against uh, within his career throughout the Steelers. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I'm living in the moment and, uh, I'm excited to get to work and, you know, meet these guys, you know, meet my teammates. And um, I'm looking to help the team uh, the, the best way I can. John Glennon. Kevin, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about your career overall. Uh, um, you know, I'm sure a lot of expectations coming in as a first round pick. Um, you know, what have your experiences been like in, in Houston and, and kind of what lessons have you have you learned along the way? Um, you know, my, my, yeah, a lot of, a lot of lessons, uh, over the course of my career. Um, you know, as you probably know, I, I've been injured a lot, you know, throughout my career, you know, things I cannot control, but, you know, all those things I've learned from, um, you know, you just learn from, you know, all the lessons that you go through in life. And, uh, I still think very highly of myself as a player. Um, and I'm looking to prove that this season. Thanks. Paul. Uh, you mentioned getting off social media for the last month. Wondering uh, w what inspired that, and, uh, and and did it have the desired effect? And will you be back? Um, yeah. Uh, what inspired me getting off is just you know it's a, this is a whole new era you know that we're living in in the social media era, and um, I'm just looking to cleanse my mind. Um, you know, I want to be living more in the moment of you know what I'm going through in my everyday life. Uh, you know, being focused on myself and what's important to me. Um, um, I don't necessarily have a return date, I guess you could say, of getting back on social media. Um, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm just looking forward to, you know, living in, a, living in the moment the best way I can and um, looking to be the best man and person I can be in everyday life. Has it helped? Has it worked? Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. I'd say so. Yep. Jim Wyatt. Kevin, and you've done it several times in your career, but what's it like going from uh, one team to the next, just as far as establishing yourself? And, and is there an adjustment period as you get to know a new team, a new city, new coaches? And, and how do you, how, what's the best way to establish yourself, you feel like, when you land somewhere else? Uh, just going out there and just earning respect um, from, from, your play, from the players, uh, your coaches, your um, coaches. And just coming out there and playing ball because at the end of the day, that's what we're here to do. So um, just coming out here and playing my best ball, uh, earning respect from, um, you know, my teammates, my coaches, like I said, uh, you know, everybody within the organization. I'm going to ask you about another blast from your past. You played college ball with uh, Matt James, didn't you? Did, did you keep up with him? And how did you think you did on the bachelor? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. Um, you know, actually had a pretty good relationship, have a pretty good relationship with Matt James. Um, 
um, I watched, you know, the first, you know, couple episodes, uh, um, and, and watch it as much as I can. Um, but, um, you know, uh, I haven't, I haven't been keeping up with it to the, you know, what's been going on lately, but, um, you know, I know he's a great guy and I'm sure he's doing, um, a very good job on the show and, um, getting what he wants out of it for sure. And, and what do you do now? There's still some uncertainty about what the off season is going to look like, but what do you train? Mm -hmm. What do you do to prime yourself for the season? Um, I work out, uh, I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, I work out at uh, performance enhancement professionals, uh, working on my, my body, um, getting my body right, you know, stay, um, getting stronger, um, you know, working on my, um, my coverage skills and, um, studying film. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what my off season kind of is, is shaping up. And, uh, and then in my free time, I like to play golf. So, um, I play golf. I hit the, you know, go work out. Um, and then on my days off, I go hit the links. What's your handicap? Uh, I just started playing. Um, I just started playing. This will be my third year, you know, pretty much playing, but, uh, I haven't even, you know, officially put my numbers in to find my exact handicap, but I'm shooting about in like the, the mid nineties, mid, mid low nineties. How about the back nine? <laughs> the, the, the back I'm nine. I'm kidding with you. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. I <laughs> right, appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. Kayla? Yeah, just a quick follow-up on the golf. Uh, it's always interesting yeah. how a lot of athletes take that up as a side hobby. For you, is it just, yeah. you know, trying to overcome a challenge out on the links? Because it's such a difficult mm -hmm. sport in terms of concentration as well. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely it's just a it's just a great it's just a great hobby. I mean, golf is amazing. You know, you got the the challenge within yourself to um, you know, the consistently uh hit good shots, which is, you know, a challenge <laughs> um that I look forward to. You know, it's great to be out on nice courses, you know, um seeing the scenery, you know, I feel like it's, you know, great for your mind, body and spirit. Um and I just love the way when you hit that ball flush how it feels in my hands. I can feel like I'm addicted to that feeling. So, uh you know, I go out there every day thinking I'm Tiger Woods, you know, never know how the day is going to go. But um, I look forward to playing every time I play.